Hi there and welcome. I'm Rabbi Nachometh with the Las Vegas Kola. The Chavetz Chaim in his introduction has been talking about the structure of his book. And he discusses how the primary section, the Makar Chaim, that's an outline, it's a code of law of the laws of proper speech. And it's in the footnote section, the Be'er Mayim Chaim footnotes, that's where he goes and argues the rationale and reasons behind the laws found in the outline. The Chavetz Chaim points out that in the Be'er Mayim Chaim, you'll often find sources for the laws that he quotes in the Makar Chaim in the outline section. The Chavetz Chaim stresses the reason why he puts those sources in there is so that a person doesn't think that the Makar Chaim, the section of the Code of Law, these are just cute ideas or good, helpful suggestions that the Chavetz Chaim has put forth. Rather, the Chavetz Chaim tells us it's a code of law. These are requirements. These aren't just things for piety or suggestions, but they're absolute requirements. And because of that, the Chavetz Chaim gives us the sources for where he pulls the laws from. And the language the Chavetz Chaim uses is actually really remarkable when he talks about the function of the Be'er Mayim Chaim footnotes. He says, hanoim. You know, dear reader, I really urge you, you're going to see something when you're studying the book that at first glance doesn't seem right. In Be'etzim Adin, it doesn't really seem that it's actually the law. Rather, you're going to say it's Chumra Ba'alma. It's just a stringency, but it's not actually a requirement. Or Richas Alashin Lo Tzarech or Kitzar Alashin. Or you're going to find in the primary section, in the Makar Chaim, you'll think the language is too long or it's too short. The Chavetz Chaim tells us, Bal Yimayr Lahachlet Es Hadavar Lomar Shkagahi. Don't be quick to decide and assume, well, the Chavetz Chaim made a mistake. He says, first make sure, be sure to go ahead and read very carefully through those footnote section. Anytime you encounter a law, make sure you study it very, very well. A person very likely, when you go ahead, if you study the Sefer Chavetz Chaim, and you don't study the footnote section well, a person might go ahead and think, the Chavetz Chaim is just telling us something that's a helpful suggestion. It's just a chumrah ba'alma. It's just the stringency, but it's not really a requirement. Or the language of the Chavetz Chaim is imprecise. The Chavetz Chaim urges us. He wrote this book with tremendous precision. Read and study the laws carefully. Read the footnote sections if you have any questions about where the Chavetz Chaim got his laws from. Now, in this class, we're not going to go through all of the footnotes in the Be'er Ma'im Chaim. Sometimes they're very technical and they're lengthy. But that said, it's the lesson that the Chavetz Chaim is telling us is super important. Recognize the Chavetz Chaim was a genius. He was one of the greatest sages of the previous generation. And when he put together Sefer Chavetz Chaim, and particularly when he put together the Be'er Ma'im Chaim footnotes, he did it with great precision and with great care. And we shouldn't be quick to judge or assume that that which the Chavetz Chaim is telling us is imprecise or incorrect. The Chavetz Chaim wrote the book with tremendous precision. And if we have any questions or any uncertainties, we should give him the benefit of the doubt, do a ton of research, read the Be'er Ma'im Chaim, and go ahead and double check, triple check to make sure that we understand the sources where the Chavetz Chaim got his laws from.